Welcome to Trinet Biz tutorial on setting up the Shoutcast DSP. The first thing you'll do is open your browser, go to shoutcast.com, and once that loads, choose Broadcasting Tools. Scroll all the way to the bottom, and you'll choose the latest Shoutcast DSP plugin. Just click Download. Tell it to save the file, and boom. Go ahead and open the file, tell it to run. Skip through this, set your destination directory for where your Winamp is located. In my situation, that's correct. If you want the documentation, you can have the documentation. Click Install. Leave Set as the current DSP plugin checked, and if you want, go ahead and run Winamp. And here we have our first look at the Shoutcast DSP. The first thing you'll do, you'll go to Output. And as you can see here, I already have the server information copied over from the welcome email. So you'll enter in the IP address and the address, the port 9996 for this case, stream ID you'll leave alone and the password for this is cast. Go ahead and check use shoutcast v1 mode unless you're set up for uh, username and password for, DJ, for DJs. And then click yellow pages. Uncheck check or uncheck your choice if you want to make the server public. If you make it public it posts to the uh, Shoutcast radio directory. Name of your show. URL. In this case, we're going to use trinetcast.net. Various genre. And then you can use the other options here if you like. Now, using this, if you want, is an option. You can manually update your songs if you so choose. I recommend just letting Winamp update it for you. It's a little bit less hassle. Next go to encoder. Always going to be an mp3 encoder and then choose your source. In this case it's going to be 128 kbps with 44.1 kilohertz. And from there we're good to go. So just hit connect and when it starts saying sent, you'll be sending your information. Alright, and as you can see we're still playing. So what you'll do to make sure it's working, pull up a browser, go to if it'll load trinetcast.net colon your port number 9996 and boom we're playing now another way to test it is through another media player and I set this one up before I started just choose Windows Media Player and there we have it. Now, say you want to talk over the airwaves, you go to input and change that from Winamp to sound card. And as you can see, I'm talking now by the way it bounces up and down. And that's how you set up the Shoutcast DSP. If you have any other questions, please go to trinetcast.net and submit a support ticket. Thanks for watching.